Welcome back. Here's a question from a viewer named Kathy. She wrote, who are the officials in charge of administering the rent assistance and what is being done to increase accountability of those employees? Kathy, that's an awesome question. So the state agency in charge of getting rent assistance out the door in Oregon is called Oregon Housing and Community Services. That's their website. And then this is their live dashboard, which they launched to help the public track how much rent assistance has gone out. You can see that blue box on the left. At this point, $211.6 million has been dispensed to households. And we should note, as far as accountability is concerned, state lawmakers aren't necessarily threatening penalties to this agency for taking a while to get money out the door. They believe that the staff are overwhelmed by the need that they're seeing. And it's why last month they took more steps to kind of help them out and keep evictions at bay. They allocated $215 million toward assistance and they extended what's known as the safe harbor, giving renters until June 2022 to apply for assistance. Once they apply, they have to apply. They are protected from getting evicted until their application is processed. The state has also hired dozens more surge employees to process applications faster. Now, despite all of this, the fact remains that the system is slow and a lot of landlords are not getting the money they need to pay their mortgages on these properties. Long story short, more eviction cases are ending up in court. And that is where reps for the Oregon State Bar say a different problem has been brewing for a while. Starting about a dozen years ago, we started to see a dramatic drop in people represented by legal counsel, especially in the areas of family law and landlord tenant law. And it actually accelerated during the economic downturn in 2008. And since that time, we've seen a, a continual gradual decrease. And in fact, the state uh, courts keep records of the number of people who show up without attorneys. And in the landlord tenant arena, 83% of those who appear in court for a landlord tenant matter. That clip ended a little early. He went on to say they show up to court without attorneys. 83%. 83% of people in landlord tenant court come without lawyers. And senior circuit judge Dan Harris says most people showing up without lawyers are, in fact, the tenants themselves. And the same problem he says exists in family court. There are several reasons for this. The main one money. Lawyers are expensive and a lot of people can't afford their time, especially if they're facing eviction. It makes sense. Plus, Judge Harris says in some parts of the state, there are way more cases than lawyers anyway, especially in rural parts. This is a problem, he says, and it's a problem because it slows down the court system tremendously. And remember, there's already a backlog in the courts anyway, thanks to the pandemic. So what to do? Well, the Oregon State Bar has an idea. Just recently, the Oregon State Bar, after we've been working on this for a few years, approved a proposed plan to license paralegals to handle limited services in the areas of landlord-tenant law and family law. A lot of the work that lawyers do is delegated to paralegals. The, essentially, a paralegal is any person who is in the right now in the in a le in a law office in the legal profession who is helping lawyers manage their affairs and so paralegals prepare court documents they prepare contracts they do essentially everything lawyers do but they have a lawyer supervising what they're doing on top of being supervised, Judge Harris says paralegals in this program, if it comes to fruition, would be covered by malpractice insurance and they would be cheaper, maybe like 50 to 100 bucks an hour, as opposed to 250, which is the average rate, he says, for a Portland attorney. So in the case of a landlord or a tenant whose case is going to court, they could schedule an hour or two with a paralegal, sit down and just get guidance on like basic paperwork they have to fill out. Maybe get a roadmap of where the case is going to go and so on for much cheaper.
Judge Harris notes other states have programs just like this, namely Washington and Utah. California, he says, is like Oregon, weighing launching it. So what do they want from you? Well, right now they want feedback from the public desperately, especially if you've ever hired an attorney for a case or if you've chosen not to hire one and chosen instead to represent yourself. They want your experience. This is the web page. It's osbar.org slash LP. Again, osbar.org slash LP. And please do it soon, they say. The Oregon State Bar is hoping to launch this program this summer.